You may hold the perspective that our universe is the sole existence. But the prevailing notion within the scientific community, particularly among physicists and cosmologists delving into the early stages of the universe, suggests otherwise. The prevailing belief is that the fundamental laws of physics, as we perceive them, were established during the nascent moments of the universe. Quantum fluctuations, at this crucial juncture, are hypothesized to be the catalysts for the emergence of alternate universes, each governed by slightly divergent laws of physics. In essence, even if multiple universes started off with a semblance of similarity in their initial moments, subsequent quantum fluctuations could lead them down distinct paths, resulting in a multitude of universes with subtly different physical laws that the idea of countless worlds has ancient roots. Dating back to the days of Greek atomism, where thinkers believed that everything in our physical world was made up of tiny, unbreakable building blocks called atoms. Back in the day, these wise minds proposed that when atoms collided, it wasn't just a one-time event, it birthed infinite parallel worlds. Fast forward to 3rd century BC, and philosopher Chrysippus took it up a notch, suggesting that the world kept rebooting itself, hinting at the existence of multiple universes over time. But it wasn't until modern physics took the stage that the concept of multiple universes matured. In 1952, in Dublin, Erwin Schrödinger dropped a bombshell during a lecture. Brace yourselves. He said his equations weren't showing alternatives, but actual simultaneous happenings. He said that his equations seemed to describe several different histories these were not alternatives but all really happened simultaneously, this sort of duality is called superposition. Which is a hard concept to grasp in and of itself and understandably so our brains are not evolutionarily equipped to intuitively understand quantum mechanics and large-scale cosmic phenomena. But we'll give it a try anyway with the multiverse, wrap your head around this tricky idea called superposition, it's like juggling multiple histories at once. Now, here's where it gets wild. Imagine a multiverse where some corners of the cosmos are growing and evolving without a clue about other pockets of the universe. These universes are like separate entities, doing their own thing, and they'll never cross paths. Let's take a journey into imagination, picture yourself as a ship sailing on the vast sea. As you gaze out, the horizon marks the boundaries of your entire universe. Now, here's the catch, there's another ship out there with its own horizon, but you two sail in parallel, never crossing paths unless your horizons somehow align. The tricky part is, in our universe, we're not sure how to make that happen because these horizons are non-causal. It's like needing a magical tunnel to connect one universe to another. But hold on, it's not as simple as it sounds. Venturing through such a tunnel could be risky business. Imagine the laws of physics on the other side being totally different, your very existence might turn into a cosmic smoothie because even the charge on an electron could throw off your biochemistry. The concept of the multiverse is like this big hypothetical family of universes, each containing everything, space, time, matter, energy, info, and the rules that govern them. It's a mind-bending trip into the unknown. The physics community has engaged in ongoing debates regarding various multiverse theories. Prominent physicists are divided about whether other universes exist outside of our own. Some physicists say the multiverse is not a legitimate topic of scientific inquiry. Concerns have been raised about whether attempts to exempt the multiverse from experimental verification could erode public confidence in science and ultimately damage the study of fundamental physics. A contention exists over whether the multiverse is a scientific hypothesis or more of a philosophical notion, as it lacks empirical falsifiability, a key criterion in the scientific method. Nobel laureate Steve Weinberg has proposed that if the multiverse were real, our quest for a rational explanation for specific values in the standard model, such as quark masses, would be futile. According to this perspective, these values might be mere accidents of the particular region within the multiverse where our universe resides. Furthermore, Weinberg suggests that in different corners of the multiverse, the laws of physics could vary to the extent that matter would never coalesce, resulting in lifeless universes. Alternatively, there could be universes where stars form but without the production of heavy elements, leading to beautiful night skies but devoid of familiar planets and the life we know and love. 
Some researchers conducted an analysis of data gathered by the Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe, WMAP, an unmanned spacecraft operational from 2001 to 2010. The probe measured temperature variations in the cosmic microwave background, the radiant heat emitted from the Big Bang. They asserted finding indications suggesting that our universe had collided with other parallel universes in the distant past. But data analysis from both the Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe and the Planck Satellite, a space observatory operated by the European Space Agency from 2009 to 2013, contradicted these claims. The Planck Satellite, with a resolution three times higher than the WMAP, also mapped the anisotropies of the cosmic microwave background, but did not discover any statistically significant evidence supporting the idea of universe collisions. There was no evidence of any gravitational pull of other universes on ours either. This challenges the proponents of the multiverse hypothesis who argued for statistical evidence. Worth noting that in the 1920s, quantum mechanics emerged, signifying a significant scientific breakthrough, regardless of how one interprets or describes scientific advancements. Quantum mechanics delves into the intricacies of the minuscule, exploring how particles behave. As we delve into smaller scales, a curious phenomenon emerges, predicting precise behaviors becomes challenging. Instead, we resort to statistical descriptions, acknowledging the potential range of actions within a system. Now, picture our vast universe, beautifully explained by Einstein's general theory of relativity. Yet, rewind to the cosmic birth, the Big Bang, and the entire universe was compressed to the size of an atom. This is where the marriage of quantum mechanics and general relativity becomes essential. At the quantum level, when applied to the fabric of space, we observe a dynamic disturbance, a quantum foam. This frothing fabric isn't confined to specific zones, it's a dynamic field. Within this fabric, certain regions could give rise to entire universes, each with variations in the laws of physics. Why? Because the conditions birthing these laws had inherent variations. The multiverse emerges organically from the application of quantum mechanics to general relativity, a fascinating interplay of the small and the large within the cosmic tapestry. In the realm of relativity, notable scientists like Max Tegmark and Brian Greene have formulated classification schemes for the various theoretical multiverses and universes. Max Tegmark, for instance, has proposed a taxonomy consisting of four levels of universes beyond our observable universe. Level 1 extends our universe and aligns with the prediction of cosmic inflation, suggesting the existence of an infinite ergodic universe containing Hubble volumes with diverse initial conditions. Level 2 involves universes with different physical constants, as per the internal inflation theory where space stretches infinitely, forming distinct bubbles that cease stretching. Level 3 introduces the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. In this interpretation, certain observations cannot be precisely predicted, leading to a range of possible observations, each corresponding to a different universe. Level 4 encapsulates the ultimate ensemble, Max Tegmark's own hypothesis. Here, all universes are considered equally real and can be described by distinct mathematical structures. Tegmark argues that any conceivable parallel universe theory can be encompassed at this level, bringing closure to the hierarchy of multiverses. Contrastingly, Brian Greene, an American theoretical physicist, delves into nine types of multiverses, each with its own unique characteristics, but we will discuss them in another video. If you enjoyed this content, express your support by liking, subscribing, and ringing the bell to stay updated. Thanks for tuning in.